The Putnam Soar Project is funded by a USDA grant which provides amazing audiovisual technology. Teachers in a SOAR classroom can teach their own students while teaching other students in classrooms throughout the district at the same time. This allows us to take master teachers in specialized content areas and share their expertise at multiple schools. Not only does this provide access to highly skilled instruction to more of our students, it helps with the teacher shortage challenges we are facing. CCS Presentation Systems, based out of Jacksonville, partnered with Epson, Crestron, and Starleaf to design and install this AV technology. Students in all classrooms can hear, ask questions freely, and see the teacher's content on their own displays. Each classroom has a laser projector, flat panel displays, advanced cameras, wireless and ceiling microphones, and a touch panel display where teachers are able to select the content and live video that the students view at all times. Currently, we have two SOAR classrooms in each of our four high schools and one classroom at Miller Middle School. Palatka High and Interlochen High are using their classrooms to offer Composition I and College Algebra Dual Enrollment courses, as well as an elective course for our Public Service Academy. St. John's River State College is our partner in this project. They have three classrooms equipped with the same technology, so we can offer even more courses from their campuses for our dual enrollment students in the future. Crescent City High School Cambridge students needed the course Global Perspectives. Using a SOAR classroom, we were able to have Caitlin Bowes, a highly successful teacher with this course, teach her students at QI Roberts High School while also teaching the students at Crescent City High. Karen Baker serves as the support teacher for this course. Let's watch Ms. Bowes engage her students in a formal debate. So we have a team from Crescent City, and a team from QI Roberts, and we'll engage in a, a structured debate today. One point mentioned was that in Tennessee, they are trying to go to free college, but the requirements for that, your family has to make less than 50000 a year, and then you have to apply. More about the topic and push for uh, more opportunities for these low-income students instead of uh, trying to fund the large projects uh, that will cost taxpayers a lot of money and uh, won't benefit a lot of low-income students in the long run. Uh, free tuition is the dream of any senior or student in college. However, its negatives far outweigh the positives when it comes in terms of coming out of taxpayers' wallets. Students' budget, which runs 17930 annually on average. The U.S. economy and society has benefited from tuition free college in the past. This program is beneficial to me because it kind of gives me a chance to have a, a teaching partner who is constantly looking at my practice, what I'm doing well, and it's kind of reassuring to be able to, you know, text someone or email someone right after my uh, lesson and say, hey, did that work with your kids? Um, so I've really appreciated um, the collaboration I've had with Karen at Crescent City. It's also been kind of the ultimate design challenge for a teacher. Um, if you are just in a little box in the back of the room, you have to make sure that your activities, your lessons, um, your lectures are the best possible product they can be so you can engage kids that are, you know, working alongside your class 40 miles away. Um, so definitely the design challenge has made me re-examine my practice and think about, hmm, what can I add here? What can I take out? How can I make this the best possible lesson and unit for all of the kids in my class? This program's been very beneficial to me as a teacher because it's given me the opportunity to see how Ms. Bowes actually teaches the class because she's been very successful in the past. Um, she has great strategies that she uses and um, the kids love it. They're very engaged. Um, and it's given me a chance to watch a teacher that's been skilled in the profession um, teach the class so that I can gain knowledge from her so that whenever it's time for me to teach the class, then I will know exactly how it's done. So the SOAR program um, has been beneficial to my students here at QI Roberts, um, but also my students at Crescent City because it gives them the chance to present in front of a, a bigger audience than just the kids they've been going to school with their entire lives. Um, global perspectives, a huge component of our class um, is communication and presentation skills. So giving kids the chance to um, perform, present, and debate with an audience um, 40 miles away is giving them those communication skills they're going to need to 
um, thrive in a 21st century learning environment. Likewise, when they get to university, there are all kinds of different courses that they're going to take. Online courses, blended courses, even distance learning courses like this. So for our students to be getting this experience now is going to serve them very well when they enter universities. I believe that this is impacting me as a learner. It's like allowing me to meet with new people and help me see outside of my own perspective, which is kind of what global perspectives is, is seeing outside of what you believe and feel for yourself. So this introduces me to like at least 30 new kids and it helps me kind of broaden my horizons a little bit. So this type of learning environment really goes great um, with global perspectives. So the idea of global perspectives is that you're taking new perspectives on ideas in the world and that you're really getting to meet other people and learn what they're doing. Um, so QI is just such a small and tight-knit school uh, and you know we're really secluded from everyone but uh, bringing, bringing in the SOAR classroom has allowed us to meet new people and it's just really going great for this course content. SOAR classrooms create a unique and engaging learning environment where teachers and students can learn from others outside of their own school through a truly authentic and collaborative approach. We plan to increase the number of courses offered and hope to add classrooms to other schools. When you consider how it's connecting our students and teachers in such positive ways, we believe the possibilities for the Putnam SOAR project are endless.